I'm going to cover shoes that you can wear all day long for ultimate comfort and versatility and whether you're on your feet all day walking around, going to the gym, going to school, going to work, whatever the case may be. Today I'm going to be covering the top 10 best sneakers under $200 that you can wear every day. Number 10 is going to the Reebok Float Zig 1 which is incredibly soft on your foot. They do run for about $130 for this model but I am genuinely impressed with this shoe right here and what Reebok was able to do and they also do have about three other options that I definitely think are worth the look. I'm actually impressed with the float ride that they incorporated in the midsole as it is in combination with also the Zig Tech, which is an amazing combination. Overall, this is a great option for everyday comfort and they did a great job with this shoe right here and it is very nice to see some forward progress on Reebok. Number nine, we pretty much have a classic, which is the Yeezy 500, which goes for $200. It's never been a better time to buy a pair of Yeezys as you can find them for about 70 percent off which is a pretty crazy steal and you can find these from a bunch of different retailers whether it may be the adidas website either adidas store or just a bunch of different retailers near you you're probably getting one of the best quality of shoes as this shoe comes with a full leather and suede upper which feels incredible and also unfortunately you do not have that boost but it does have that replacement of the adipre plus which is incredibly comfortable and also is super bouncy on foot. So the number nine spot goes to a Nike and this one comes in at only $80. So we have the Journey 1 which comes with comfy ride cushioning which I am overall very impressed with this shoe as it is very comfortable and also has very nice style points. And also an added plus about this shoe is that it retails at only $90. At number seven, I have the Adidas AE1 Low. Now, this is actually a new sneaker. And although the AE1 has been out for a little while now, the AE1 Low has just dropped pretty recently. This is Anthony Edwards' first signature shoe and it has exploded in popularity. And this is not because of the hype or because of artificial scarcity or anything like that. This shoe is just generally a very nice shoe with that full length boost, which makes it very comfortable. You've also got a really cool upper with this rubber cage located on both sides of the shoe, making it very practical, but also very futuristic. And this adds to the overall durability and stability of the shoe. And of course, one of the big selling points of this shoe is that it only comes in at about $100. Number six on this list goes to the New Bounce Propel V5, and these retail for about $120. I think this is a pretty nice shoe overall, and I definitely would say this just might top the list at one of the most squishiest shoes on this list. But overall, this is just a nice shoe. And if you are new to the Fuel Cell line, I definitely think you're going to fall in love with these shoes right here. Number five, I have another classic, and this is the Nike Zubamero 5, and this retails for about $160. It is incredibly comfortable, and it does follow that mesh retro runner, and this shoe is just a shoe that you can throw on with a plethora of different fits, no matter the occasion. A lot of the times, you can find a pair of Zubamero 5s on sale, and even some solid colorways come at retail. They also do have a lot of collaborations that do come at a cost sometimes at different styles and versions. But with that being said, when you get a pair of Zoom Mirror 5s, this is a very reliable and very comfortable pair of shoes. Getting into number four, we have the New Balance 880 V14. They retail for $140 and these get a lot of shine from the runner's perspective. But with that being said, I am pretty sure we're happy with the results as you can wear these on an everyday basis. So all in all, definitely a comfortable pair that is definitely worth taking a look at. And again, if you guys do want to buy these sneakers right here, all the sneakers are linked down below in the description. At number three, we have the Yeezy 700 V2. Now, similarly to the other Yeezys I've talked about, Yeezys are going for a steal right now, and many Yeezys you can find for way under retail, and this being one of the best Yeezys you can buy, coming in at $300, it is crazy that you can get these sneakers for a steal. You've also got a full-length boost and an incredibly premium upper, which just makes this shoe that much better. And I definitely recommend this shoe as you can wear it for any day and it doesn't matter what the occasion is. Moving on to the number two spot of this countdown is the Nike Pegasus 41. It retails for $140 and something new that we haven't seen in the Pegasus line previous is the React X foam, which is pretty nice and feels great on foot. In my opinion, this is a great all around sneaker and if you do have a vacation coming up, I feel like this is the perfect option to go with. At number one, I have the New Balance 9060s, which retails for about $100 fifty dollars and this shoe literally takes all the boxes from versatility quality and also comfort simply that i highly recommend checking out these sneakers right here as well as the others that i've listed in this top 10 list 
But with all that being said, that is going to cap off this video. So you guys let me know down below in the comments below what you guys think about this list, your favorites, your dislikes, and all of the above. But with that being said, if you guys do want to check out another video of mine, go ahead and click this video, which will tell you all about the top 10 best New Balance sneakers. Yeah. God is good.